today I'm reviewing the Jumiso Snail Mucide and Peptide Facial Essence. And really quick, I just want to say, I purchase these products with my own money. I'll never waste time with sponsored ads or videos, so if that's something you're into, like, subscribe, share the video, check out the links below, or check out my Patreon community. Okay, so, man, this is an interesting thing. So the last review I was talking about all my car accidents I've been in, and now I'm just onto an essence, so it's kind of weird. I haven't been in that many... You know, when I was really young, though, my first car was all I could afford was, like, a, just an old Chevy Blazer. And I didn't have four-wheel drive. And everything was icy, and it was gigantic, and it was old, and I think it was, like, $100 a month. But gas then was, like, 80 cents a gallon. Man, I'm really dating myself. But I would go, when I first started driving, it was, like, a dollar a gallon. And then when it went down to 80 cents a gallon, I'd go fill up, like, every day. I'm like, gee, I'm saving 20 cents a gallon. I got to hurry up. And now, looking at it, wow. Time flies. You're old. I know. Man. Sucks to get old, doesn't it? Anyway, so... I guess gas prices went up significantly since then, but anyway, yeah, so that was pretty exciting. So I did, did get in that in an accident because it was terrible. It was just not very good. But that was all I could afford at the time, you know what I mean? I didn't have which parents that were going to buy me a car or anything. Not like my nieces and nephew, they're all going to be spoiled and lucky. So anyway, anyway, I didn't have that issue, so anyway. Jealous. I am jealous. Okay, on to the review. <laughs> I totally digress. Okay, so they say, Nourish Tiger to lackluster aging skin with this powerful toner essence. It's infused with 95% snail mucin and five kinds of peptides to boost skin elasticity and repair cell damage. Additional ingredients of pantanol and elatin offer soothing and hydrating benefits. This formula is suitable for sensitive and acne prone skin. So I tend to agree with pretty much all of that for the most part. Uh, okay, so first criteria is packaging. We've got a clear plastic bottle with a pump on top. No issues with that. Pretty easy to use. It's got the expiration date on the bottom, which is nice. Especially when you've got a horde of products like I do. It's nice to have that on there. Uh, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. Uh, it's also fragrance-free and has no real noticeable scent, so no issues with that. The manufacturing location for this one is Korea. Again, no issues with that. So, ease of use. So, have you any of you guys used uh, snail essences before? I think probably the most famous one is probably the CasaRx snail essence. And it's, uh, it's an interesting product. It's tricky to fit into a routine, especially, I would say, probably oilier skin types would probably be more tricky. So, I found I like using this in my evening routine, unless it's in the driest, coldest time of the year, I certainly can get away with using snail essence and snail cream in my daytime routine without any issues. But that's gonna be too much most days of the year. It's gonna be too greasy and end up making your face look very shiny and things. Uh, so this one's very easy to use. So it's got that nice gooey texture to it. So after cleansing uh, and toning, you can just uh, smooth a little bit on. One pump is enough to do your whole face and neck. A little bit goes a long way. I've been using this one for a while and it's barely touched the bottle. Um, so and then after you do that, it says gently tap to aid in absorption. Does take a while to soak in, which is why I prefer using this in my evening routine because then I can just go on to my next step and just let them soak in while I sleep unless I'm using other products that are too thick or heavy. But Anyway, so a little bit goes a long way. Once it absorbs, it sets to a slightly tacky finish that is slightly radiant. It's not a matte finish. It's not a super shiny finish, but it is slightly radiant. So, uh, and then after applying this, you can continue with your serums, uh, treatments, moisturizers, everything else. You want to put this on early in your routine just because of how light it is and things like that. So very easy to use. No issues all with that. Feels nice on the skin with the exception of that stickiness, but... It's a little different than a sticky moisturizer where it's your last step and you're going to notice the stickiness. Uh, you're going to apply other stuff over it so it's not going to be a big deal. Um, okay, so no issues with ease of use. So in terms of ingredients of this one, so uh, the most exciting ingredient obviously is going to be the snail uh, ferment. Snail ferment is wonderful for skin. It's an antioxidant. It's a moisturizing ingredient. Uh, and then they also say, chemically speaking, snail slime is a mixture of glycosamine glycans, glycoprotein enzymes, hyaluronic acid, copper peptides, antimicrobial peptides, and trace elements such as 
uh, trace minerals such as zinc, iron, and copper. So it's a good mix of good ingredients for your skin. It's very hydrating, helps with dryness and skin sensitivity. And I also found this really interesting that uh, in Spain there was a radiation uh, cancer oncologist, doctor, that was using this on uh, patient's skin to treat dermatitis that was caused by radiation, which is uh, radiotherapy or radiation is a form of cancer treatment. So they were using this on people's skin to really help their skin heal and hydrate from that. So I found that really fascinating. So if it's, it's, it's good enough for the most damaged skin, uh, it's good enough for mine. Um, then they also say a study uh, examined the regeneration properties of snail slime and it found that it has a does great things for your skin. It's very positive. It helps with repairing skin, has antioxidant benefits, uh, and also has two antioxidant enzymes, which are superoxide dismutase and glutathione. So uh, snail, snail secretion fil fruit filtrate also induces fibroblast proliferation, which helps with wound healing and producing more collagen in your skin. So snail mucin is one of the best ingredients. I have a lot of favorite ingredients, ascorbic acid, azelaic acid. Snail mucin's got to be up there, though, because it was one of the first ingredients I ever found that really helped with my truly dry skin. Before that, I mean, winter in Minnesota, it's negative 30 Fahrenheit, the humidity zero. You already have dry skin. You're running furnaces. Your skin is dry as heck. And this was one of the first ingredients I found that really helped it. Uh, okay, so then we've also got betaine, we've got elantin, soothing ingredient, we've got sodium hyaluronic, it's humectant, we've got panthenol, wound healing, skin soothing ingredient, we've got adenosine, a uh, cell communicating ingredient with anti-inflammatory properties, we've got arginine, skin identical amino acid, that helps with wound healing, we've got copper tripeptide, wound healing, skin soothing, antioxidant, helps with skin firming, anti-aging, we've got the matrixyl 3000 peptide duo, anti-aging peptide with skin penetration abilities that may also help with uh, stimulating collagen production and skin, may also help with wrinkle depth and length and skin texture and firmness. We've got uh, the peptide argoline, which is called the Botox in a bottle peptide. Eh, I don't agree with that necessarily, but argoline is a wonderful peptide with anti-aging benefits. Uh, we've got matrixyl, cell communicating peptide, that helps with fine lines, wrinkles, and can also help improve skin texture. So really nice ingredient list, uh, good stuff. The only thing I might change would be, you guys are going to guess that hyaluronic acid, I'm just bored with seeing and everything, but I get it. And you know what, if you're going to apply other products over this, then it's not a big deal. I just, eh. I just get bored with sodium hyaluronic because it just isn't everything. But anyway, okay, I'm not going to rant about that. Uh, okay, in terms of animal testing, this is cruelty-free, so no issues at all with that. We love that. Um, okay, next up, performance. So this is super nicely hydrating. Uh, nice addition of peptides in this. Makes it a little bit more exciting, potentially, than the Casarex Snail Essence, which is a holy grail, probably one of their, probably their second best-selling product, maybe. I would say their first is probably the Snail Cream. Maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's their second one. I That would be my guess. Um, so I like this one because we had some peptides in. There's not a lot of the peptides. They're at the bottom of the ingredient list. Um, so I have a feeling there's not a ton of them in there, but a little bit in there is better than none. Uh, so I really like this one. Uh, I find this to be, in terms of hydration, a little less hydrating than the Casarex. But I'll have to do a verse of the two, but not terribly so. So most people won't probably notice that difference at all. Um, in terms of the promises this product makes, it promises to nourish skin and have anti-aging benefits for your skin. And it does both of those, certainly. In terms of the ingredients and my experience using it, it helps with both of those. Um, let's see. Okay, in terms of acne-prone skin, there is only one ingredient of note for acne-prone skin, and that's carbomer. So otherwise, I think this is going to work well for most skin types, dry, oily, sensitive, and acne prone. It's going to be friendly for all of those, so no issues at all with that. Uh, in terms of the price, this is the full size, which is 140 milliliters in, or 4.7 ounces, and it retails for about $26, although it's on sale right now. Yes, sale for, I think, $20, so it's not terribly expensive, uh, especially the fact that this will last you months. 
That's using it every single day in the last few months. Um, okay, last but not least in terms of the it factor, this stuff is wonderful. It's a nice essence. It's got some bonus ingredients in here, uh, aside from just focusing on the snail mucin. Um, I don't know if I had to choose between this and the Cossarex would be hard. Uh, I think on a, the coldest, driest winter day, I'd go with Cossarex. And any other day, I'd probably go with this because of the peptides they threw in. I love that. Um, and I love peptides. A lot of people don't necessarily subscribe to peptides. I subscribe to them. I love them. Um, so overall, this one's a good product. It'll work well for most skin types, and it's still pretty affordable and still cruelty-free. So with a 10 being a perfect score, this one a 10, it's a winner. Whoa. It's worth checking out. Cameron is so excited he's going to use it tonight, right? Uh, the whole thing. I'm going to slather it on. So anyway, uh, interesting hearing from you guys. If you had a chance to check this one out yet or not, and if you have what your thoughts are, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.